My intention is to recreate the natural system the way it used to be. So Diana obviously is a part of that and needs to come back. They invited us to come to Zanov in order to assess the situation and we realized that there's actually very few predators in the park and we recommended that they reconstruct the carnivore guild. A carnivore guild includes all species within an ecosystem from the order carnivora. That includes small species like genets and mongooses up to large species like lions and hyenas. Each species occurs at a different level in the ecosystem and when you lose species from a particular level you may lose important ecosystem functions throughout the ecosystem. Hyenas have the ability to open carcasses where things like jackals and actually many vultures cannot. So for those other scavengers to perform their role, they need the hyenas. Additionally, hyenas' stomachs are so acidic that they can kill many uh, pathogens like anthrax and prevent those things from spreading through the ecosystem. For those who knew Zinav National Park five years ago, when they come to Zinav this time, in fact, they get really surprised. We have elephants, we have buffaloes, giraffes, sables, we have ostriches, and we have all got in incredible situation now. The Zanaf National Park is one of the main anchor legs of the Greater Limpopo Transfrontier area. From here we can create linkages to the other national parks and to do that the anchor needs to be solid. And our aim is to solidify protection in Zanaf. You know, nature doesn't stop at the boundary humans draw. So I think the conventional understanding of conservation is to safeguard ring-fenced areas for the protection of the species in those areas. But the reality is that you know, landscapes require genetic flow and movement to mimic what the natural systems would be. And I think that's where Peace Parks and the Nakba Mozambique's approach is unique in that they recognize the importance of this landscape flow, this movement of animals through protected areas, through defined corridors, allowing for the, the genetic transfer and the physical transfer of animals between interconnected protected areas. I think Zinav in 10 years will have the whole representation of the species that they used to have and a working ecosystem and tourists coming in that generates revenue for the people that live around here.